Okay, welcome back. Right, what I've done is I've created a folder called Cyborg Package, Packaged, and I've put all of my items in there. You notice you've got the displacement maps, the texture maps, normal maps. Um, we've got the actual objects themselves, Cyborg and the IOBJ. We've also got these other files called MTL files. Now they are the basically holding the UV coordinates for the associated model. So Cyborg MTL has got the UV coordinates for the Cyborg or the UV layout for Cyborg um, OBJ. So normally if you haven't got these files with this then usually it means that you ha it hasn't exported the UV layout. So that's just something to bear in mind. So now I've got my folder structure I need to open up Maya and I need to set it up as a project and then we're going to dump these these files into the into the correct folders. So once you've got Maya open what you've got to do is come to file and then go down to project and then go to new and then we type in there whatever you like I'm going to put cyborg training like so then you use defaults and then you accept now if I close this down and open up my projects and this is in your it be in documents in Maya and then it will be in the projects or wherever you've you've set up the Maya projects folder so in there you'll see it now I've got a I've got a folder called cyborg training and this is where I'm going to put my all my stuff let's just close the script window there Okay, so what I need to do is basically take the MTL, the I object, the cyborg, and the uh, MTL for cyborg, and I'm going to press Control while I drag, and I'm going to drop it into the scenes folder of our new cyborg training. I'm going to select the texture maps now, displacement and normals, and I'm going to drag those, and I'm going to put them into the source images folder within this, which is here and control click that to make a copy so we've got a copy of the package folders here um, just in case we have something go wrong uh, we delete something by accident or mess up some coordinates we've got the originals to refer back to so okay I can close that down now and go drop straight back into Maya and now I can start putting my objects into their place so I'm going to import in fact I should go to the options and just show you that import there Oh, you want group to be on, um, preserve references, use namespace, leave all that on. Uh, that's all cool, best guess for file type. We do the import and I'm just going to select the OBJ, which is there. You'll see that it's coming in pieces, um, but this is pretty easy to fix. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it all like this. I'm going to select my UV texture editor and fabulous all our pieces are there which is good I'm going to shove this onto the other monitor now so I can just see it and what I want to do now is go to polygons make sure I'm in the polygon tab here go to mesh and I want to combine it make it one object now I'm going to select the vertexes and I'm going to go over and I'm going to go to mesh and down to edit mesh sorry go down to merge and click the option box make sure that's on 0 0.01 and apply and close and that will basically because uh, you put it on 0 0.01 it's going to be really close um, and they're going to be over each other basically each patch that you saw in there um, had a, had a, a vertice and it was on top of each other so if it was, it was as close as 0 0.01 then it would merge the two vertices together of that patch so that's great that's our model set up we'll go to shadings and we'll go to smooth shade now you can see that it's a uh, it's a bit um a bit faceted so um, that's pretty easy to do what we can do is to soften the edges or the normal so we go to normals and we go to soften edge and that will soften it all out across there okay so that's our head in there 
the eyes we shouldn't have an issue I'm just going to go straight to import grab the eyes and there they go they're straight in there and you can see that their UVs are across as well which is what we want but we want to group them both so that they're both in there or combine them both because they're going to be kind of static okay so the first thing we're going to do is to go into our windows um, actually before we do that I think what we'll do is we'll open up our options here we'll choose mental ray we'll choose quality and draft is okay for the time being then I'm going to go to view camera settings and down to resolution gate and now I'm going to go to window go to outliner which has appeared over here grab my perspective which is the camera that I'm looking through here and I just want to set a couple of things I want to come down to resolution resolution gate and go over scan and that means that it will show in here and it won't be cut off in any way uh, that's kind of it for this so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the model and this isn't a Maya course so I'm not going to be showing you all the shortcuts it's basically just to show you how to set up the structure to export this out I will be doing a Maya course later so this is my render button so I'm going to click the render and over here on my other screen again I have a render of that model so he's there but he's got no color or anything else so we've got to add all that so what we need to do is go to window go to rendering editor go down to hypershade and look at these now I'm going to delete these straight out so I'm going to click over them and I'm just going to press delete on my keyboard as you can see it's now got nothing applied to it I'm going to select this now and I'm going to choose a funny shader like this and I'm going to name that body Wrong. okay now I want you to go to the little patch over here the color patch and I want you to go to file and I want you to go into the image name and I want you to select the texture for the body and nothing's happened because I need to go into view and I need to turn on hardware texturing and there you go it's appeared and we're going to do exactly the same for the eyes we're going to grab the eyes like this click the font shader put in here eyes and go to our color swatch there hit the file find the eyes and there we go so we've now set up the texture for, for the um, for the body and the eyes and now I'm just going to save this out so I'm going to go to save It'll automatically go in the scenes folder and I'm going to go final cyborg and then I'm going to put A001 which is our reference file structure our name for it reference name so I'm going to save that because I'm, I'm doing that because there could be multiple objects in that scenes folder all related to this to this um, to this game and that would be enough um, we've got to do set up I'm going to do it for games now so I'm going to show you how to use how to do the displacement map but it's not part of the games thing it's just to show you how to do it so we're going to set this one up for games now so what I need to do is go into edit and I'm going to go down to delete by type and I'm going to delete the history also going to do exactly the same thing for the eyes edit I could have selected both of these at the same time but I didn't right let's select the body now go to the fong go down to this where it says bump mapping just click on the texture there and click the file and then go use as tangent space normals and just hit this little arrow and then grab your normal map now we'll do a render of this uh, and in fact you can see it if we go to renderer high quality there you go and I'll also do a proper render over on here 
and what we will do is take this quality up to production it takes a bit longer to process it I'll bring it across here so there you can see you can see all that details come in there but you can see it's not as pushed out as it kind of should be um, and this is the problem with the normal maps you can adjust the settings a little bit but um, but that's that's basically ready now so in the next lesson I'll just show you how to clean up the model um, how to clean it up so that it's ready to go straight to the rigger and then we'll take the sidetrack where I'll show you how to put a displacement map on it